Mm-hmm. Come near. Yeah, man. The guy that road still, you know, the man with that road right, right now. But you can put on the thumbnail after. Yeah. Yeah, man, yeah. say I'll praise Zan and Auntie How. Wash me out, shy, wash me out. And Dublin and still the apostles today, lies of Bible and Stone. Shalom to all the brothers and brothers. All the way across the world, you know, pushing his truth, you know, sincerity, in all honesty. Yeah, this is a brother from James, um, Jamaica camp. Um, Yashama, you know, along with the brother, uh, Jeremiah, and the brother Rob. And we want to, um, you know, listen, you know, and um, these, these um, rich, wealthy families, you know, um, they're preparing for, you know, this coming destruction. You know, they, they're basically planning to run to hide in their bunkers, you know, to survive. You know, this you know, nuclear destruction that basically prepared to take place, right? Which basically, you know, we understand and we know through the spirit that you know, all these things was predestined by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Jesus, and Yahweh Shine. That a lot of these men, that, that a lot of these men, wealthy families, you know, especially the, the, um, the Rock Child, Rockefellers, you know, they're going to survive this coming destruction to start out slavery, according to what written in the scripture. So we're seeing all these things, we know that, you know, all go back to prophecy. Right, right can I go on, brother. With the article, yeah, man, can I go on. All right, so this is an article which was published on The Guardian <laughs> and it was published on December 21st, 2023. And the headline reads, Why is Mark Zuckerberg building a private apocalypse bunker in Hawaii? Yeah, why am I? And we understand, I don't know why. As we have mentioned, right? You go back to prophecy. I can't tell you better. Right, so it says just below billionaires' charity is an endless well of self um, preservation. Their desperate planning for the end betrays everything they so they spout about equality and progress. So, see what it does say. These men are telling about progress and equality, sustainable development and all of that. But behind the scene, them are get underground bunkers. <laughs> Why is this so? It's like it, it them are big fear, everything are it, it just hypocritical. But he saw he don't know say the end is at hand. You know, and his effort to go for it. Yes, um, sir. Um, to go for the food putting the share the news to the place that we get at in order for him get it to a point where he can you know get the people them to run to him as a god you know mm-hmm. right the coming of the scripture and um I say brother I say um 21 and verse and verse on 24 Isaiah 21 and 24. 24 and 21. 24 and 21. Isaiah 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24 verse 21. Yeah. Listen to the point. Yeah, straight to the point. Right, this is Isaiah 24 verse 21. So it shall come to pass that, that the Howard shall punish the hosts of the I ones that are an eye and the kings of the earth upon the earth. Sean, so it's a trip to explain to us that the Heavenly Father is going to punish you know, all the high ones that are on high, right? The super rich, wealthy families, you know, of this earth. Sure. The Heavenly Father is getting ready to punish all them for what they do. Right? Because they now get to them. All of all, them basically been doing all the wickedness for years, decades, right? And living, you know, them top life, you know, in the society. You know, they're not, get, they're not getting away. The scripture tells the Lord is well, slow to hunger. Right. But spirit in power will not at all equip the wicked, wicked. So the wicked now get it. Right? So they are getting ready to get punished. So they're going to flee to their bunkers according to prophecy. Right? So they can, you know, um, come and start or slavery. Start at the first watch of slavery according to what in the scripture. So you how about you going to punish all of them. Right? Because all who they on this side, they're going to burn back in the, in, the, in, the, in the kingdom, you know, in slavery. It's like how four pins it brought into slavery by cargo slave ships. Right, and we today, fast forward today, we've basically, you know, born into this, you know, system and this captivity growing up, right, on the rulership of Isa, you know, they're going to basically born back in the, in the kingdom, in slavery, on a house, you know, right, the house, King David, and down. 
So all I'm gonna get punished. Right, continue with it. Yeah, 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 somewhere night. Yeah, go on. And um verse 22 it says, and they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit, and shall be shut up in prison in the prison, and after well, many days shall they be visited. After many days they shall be visited. Right, the first job is for very hard bodies them. The only right. dead bodies them. Mm -hmm. You know, lie in the streets, you know, that are the open field because a lot of people are gonna die in this coming I mean, destruction. Right? Must people must death that will take place. You know, worldwide. That's right. Especially, especially you are over, over, over basically what? in the Middle East, where all the harm is going to get her, according to the prophecy. Leaving the father going to get her all the, you know, the harm is through the four kind of hurt and bring them into the, the valley, you know, of decision. Or the valley yeah. of your house, part, yeah. The house of part. Where your house judgment, the heavenly father going to judge all these nations for them to us. You call them off a hand, you know how they don't fall, so they're going to pay. Right? Go on, brother. No one down the scripture or want um continue, continue. Want to come on it? Yeah, yeah. All right, um let me get it back. One verse twenty-three says So the moon shall be comforted com comforted and the sun ashamed and the Lord of all shall reign in Mount Zion Damn. in Jerusalem before his ancient glory gloriously. Ancients, glorious. Yeah, right. God, you know, um, come to think of it, yeah, right. East side of right, and known as um, the, the Caucasians, right, Cape Dweller, right, and then basically, I come from the Caucasus Mountain, you know, between you know, the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea, you know, them skip a telling joke, all them jelly be, you know, living in the sure. caves, right, and brew, you know, they could even, you know, could even speak, I know they're basically rising to power but of all the knowledge and all you know all all, all the technology there's so, there so far technology you now then actually things so that can fight against all lot and say how shy right well you know when, when how about shimmer shy you know take down these men take down edomites so-called white people all the knowledge and all these things that they have they're going to lose it all. they're going to they're going to go lower right they are the base the base men so they're going to go right back to that state here. right lewis of lewis the Edomites, all the knowledge they have, they're going to lose it. Too. All going to get taken away from them. Mm -hmm. Come on, brother. No, the scripture are the article. Think going to the article, and we can continue some more scripture. All right. Uh, I, all right, so back in the article, I'm reading it again for it says, Why is Mark Zuckerberg building a private apocalypse bunker? You know what? And you see, you're looking at the word apocalypse, it's about to yeah. like a bad one, uh, to apocalypse. reveal, you know, yeah, apocalypse yeah. of the revelation, right? So, why why this man is doing this? I right, say, so it says, just below a billionaire's charity is an endless well of safe, um, self um, preservation, they are desperate planning for an end betrays everything they spout about um, equality and progress. Oh. The rich cannot buy their way out of debt, but they can certainly postpone it for a while. And can buy what? Can yeah, buy them way out of debt. Yeah, but they can certainly postpone it for a while. Cool. Because in the idea, a lot of them, you know, we see over the years, you know, been dying out. Right, the top, or wealthy forms of the earth, you know, we see a lot of them pass. Right over the years, right, I even um, when the when the main one, um, Evelyn Rockshine, died. Yeah. Right, they have um, oh, David Rockefeller. David, yeah. Yeah, uh, I think I will hear. Henry, why the end? Kissing Jaga. That's a plan. That's a lot of yeah, yeah. Henry, Henry Kissing, oh, Henry Kissing Jaga recently. Yeah, yeah. one yeah. of them, one of them, one of them top men on the elite. Yeah, yeah. Some of them can't, they you know, can't stop themselves from die because in the day they really fought the one. Super said to um to your hour, 
belong to what? The issues of debt. Right? Mm-hmm. So how much is, um, is, is basically one way in charge. I right? determine if you live or you die. Right? Yeah, all, yeah. All, all, you know, all this is them up. Right? Them can't, them can't stop themselves and die because they idea they even if they want to in control. Right? Yeah. Regardless of what you're thinking in their mind, or, or people say what? They, um, uh, the heart are deceived them. The pride of their heart are deceived them. They even if they want in control. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. basically fulfill prophecy. So we, yeah. we understand like you mentioned that all these wealthy families that die of all these families, they might come back in the kingdom mm-hmm. and they're gonna pay for them to the nice escape. There's no escape in the hell of our shy. Right. right? One. Right, so they said the rich can't buy their way out of debt, Done. but they can certainly postpone it for a while. All of the pure food and expenses, um expensive healthcare and personal trainers that money can buy do indeed keep the wealthy breathing longer and average than the rest of us yet it is not debt itself that is the great equalizer it is the fear of debt that is the thing that the highest piles of money can safeguard again Gone. Right, that's it. I believe uh, I believe I see the bird of um uh um the call it from Boston came in um, Boston came but we're listening on underground cities right um I see yeah, yeah, one 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 with um uh deep in park you know with that um that movie because in, in that movie, I believe you have um certain key things in that movie, you know, show you how these men can you know them, you know, they lead them more than do them thing, you know, them predictive them predictive programming, as I'm, as I'm basically call it. They show you them how basically plan for do, right? You know, all the, the animals and all these things that them basically planning to, you know, bring to the bunkers, right? You know, the computer was slick, you know, who for basically, you know, um get um Brought to the bunkers and what was left remain on the, you know, on the earth, right? So they have everything planned out. But the scripture tell us that you know these men are hard with them, do. They really fall are gonna work, make them reach a certain level. Then they're gonna get this. Then they're gonna basically get this child and plan all together according to what in the scripture. So they're gonna reach a certain level, a certain distance, you know, with this um agenda where they are pushing right now, what they are preparing to do fully. Are f- fully accomplished, then how about Ashimir is going to destroy them all together according to prophecy? Right? The years they've been planning, they've been showing in the, the movies, you know, yes. as you said, them both of them are desire. So, you know, they get they already really know to basically accomplish it fully, right? Because a lot of them been dying now for the years, so they already know to basically, you know, make their move or accomplish, you know, them, them all desire, right? We can go on, brother. All right, so it says, um, Zuckerberg has spent almost a decade buying up land on the mm-hmm. island for the construction, now well underway of a sprawling 100, I mean, 1,400 acre compound of mansions, three houses, and tunnels, the crown jewel of the 270 million project is a 5,000 square feet underground sh- um, shutter, I mean shelter with its own energy and food supplies. Uh-huh. And what appears to be a blast resistant door. John. <laughs> so well preparing, right? So they're preparing yeah. to hide while the majority of people then the destructed to what really take place right away these men are planning to do right they're prepared to hide you know from this destruction right you no know, people you know they're, they're going about you know doing that there you know and you know, that, uh, that, uh, as people said when they think of peace and safety some destruction are come from them because of the last you know really take place right right so like, um so, um so like uh, just to add the yeah. way just to say while our people are asleep and are play around, Mark and others, the elites, them, they will make move. Because he said, 
Um, Zuckerberg has spent almost a decade buying the up land. Yeah. Almost 10 years. He might do this. Yeah. So now, and it just come to yeah, reality where we're there. So so. Mm -hmm. But the man moved to it like over nine, maybe eight years, almost 10 years. Why know what the regular people don't know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, with that scripture now, uh, Rob. Yeah. Is it? I give Revelation, oh. Revelation, now. Revelation 6, uh, 6 and 15. 6 and 10, may I go for it right now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hold on, I eat your one or your one or one. I eat your call for first. Yeah, man. Yeah, give that one right out, man. The revelation? Yeah, give me revelation now. The revelation uh, six. And ten. Yeah, uh, so this is the book of um, chapter six and verse ten. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord? No. Hold on. I don't know, man. You're still, you're 13 months or 13. No, 13. no, 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 uh, uh, 30. Or if it was 20.50, yeah, all right, let me see. 13, let's start from 13. It says Revelation, um, 6 and 13. It says, And the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as. A fig tree casted her untimely fig when she because, is shaken of a mighty wind. And because, you know, according to prophecy, right, they're going to have a nuclear, you know, destruction that take place, right? right. Um, in the near future, right? America going to get nuked by ICBM missiles. So the, these ICBM missiles are worried. They're going to come down, you know, and, you know, and rain down on America, right? All these missiles, all these countries have. I call the prophecy and to the American uh, lake of fire, right? You mentioned, uh, I believe the same scripture mentioned um, Isaiah um, six, uh, 34, right? And and, and four, uh, four, uh, no, go on, brother. All right, so verse 14 in Revelation chapter 6 And the heaven departed as a scroll when it Dan. is rolled together. And I'm talking about that mushroom cloud, you know, we are basically go up in these ICBM missile worried, you know, it, you know, certain place in America. Go on. And every mountain and island were moved out of their places. John. And the islands, it, are, after these islands going to sink. You know, I know, you know, recently, you know, we have um, a lot of earthquakes, you know, in the Caribbean. Right. So the highlands are gonna move out of them place, you know. The government, you know, speaking about the government also, but you know, the a lot of these highlands are gonna sink. You know, by when these um ICBM is ICBM missile it um America. I know OT in Jamaica, you know, Jamaica, you know, he's basically you know sink uh, even um, I think uh, Port Royal, they believe them say earthquake sink um port um, part of Port Royal. Right. So imagine what gonna happen when these white ICBM missile warrior hit America and a great earthquake take place. Right, imagine what will take place in those days. Right, it will be a very scary time. Right, because if I go as far and tell us that the remnant was frightened and give praise unto the heavenly father, that's how serious they're going to be in the time to come. They're going to need a deliverance, I need a deliverer. Right, mm -hmm. because there's only one way to escape all these things. You know, the scriptures speak about this through the heavenly father. We can just save ourselves. Right, it's only how Bashman Shai can deliver us from all these things above to come up on the earth. Come, brother. All right, so verse 15 says, And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich yeah. men, all which will the families them, yeah. Yeah. And, the, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bond, um, bond man, and every free man, mm. hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks, yeah. mountains. And said the mountains and the uh, and rocks fall on us 
and hide us from the face of him that seated on the throne. God, uh, I'm going to hide in them bunkers, you know, from yeah. the family structure. Right, all the rich families. All of them are basically make it through, you know, this nuclear destruction. As I, as I mentioned to, as I, as I mentioned earlier on about the movie, right, I'm see brother, I think you see brother from Boston camp, I do listen to it. I see, uh, yeah. I think I saw this, um, a, a few, you know, a few earlier and I see that, listen, I listen to the, um, that um, movie from the, from the brother from the Boston camp. Right, you know, they mentioned about in the movie, you know, who are basically, you know, get selected to get brought to the bunkers. Mm -hmm. So that is rich families, you know, as people say, captains, I list them out. They yeah. want to make it true, they survive, they start out slavery. Yep. Go on, brother. I will on, just a, a quick point out. Uh, you notice know, it yeah. said, they want to ball and ask the, 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 the rocks to fall on them. Mm -hmm. And at first, when we are going to the Arctic, the elite them spend their money to prolong them life a little longer. <laughs> So I see a bunker them are running and I'm going to beg the bunker because the destruction or the return of the Lord will be televised. And then I'm going to watch them monitor and I see things that collapse on every front. Mm -hmm. In the Middle East, in Asia. Yeah, they're going to see. They're going to scare you. They're going to scare you. Because they're going to they're 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 be afraid to live where they're going to reach because they're going to be more worse than what they expect. Yeah. Because they're going to monitor tight. Until the end, but that got way more worse. I wouldn't think that get to them, man. I can see a country bunker, and I see a bunker them. They might have realized they had a deming country. Well, I we know right now, you know, say the heart of the kings is in the hands of the Lord. Mm. But them, he saw pride make him feel like a Ima, a bright, my bright, why me I do this, you know. He might have learned that now the bunker say, I the Lord of you, I Lord of move you all along. Mm. Yeah. yeah. All right, so back in Revelation 6 and verse 16 again, it says, And set to the mountains and rock, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that seated on the throne and from the uh, rock lamb. Can you say something, Mark? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so basically, you know, not even not even a death man, them now going to escape the punishment of the Lord, how about she now shine? Um, you know, and we can we can bring out a precept for um but the last point that we make um as scripture say. Yeah. And then we'll even beg the rock for fall on them, you know, because of the terror of the Lord we are gonna descend upon them yeah. at last. It says second Maccabees six and verse twenty six, it says, For though for the present time I should be delivered from the punishment of men, yet I shall not escape the hand of the Almighty, neither alive nor dead. You know? So, it no matter which part is are going, you no matter where them go, you know, in the outermost part of the sea, you know, deep in the underground cities, because we know them have cities, you know what I mean? And them have, you know, uh, storage of food. We can't serve them for a long period of time. Because as the article said, I mean, these men have been doing this for years, you know? So, no matter where them where them go, man, the, the punishment of the Lord, it is already written the judgment of the Lord. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. That's why the Lord has sent for many hunters, man. All right. Yeah. And if we can, we can bring another one before um, Baba Kwasha. This is Psalms 139 and verse 7. It says, Whether should I go from thy spirit, or whether should I flee from thy prison? For um, if I ascend up into the heavens, thou art there. If my bed, if I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. You know, if I take the wings of the morning and this, and dwell in the uttermost part of the sea, you know. So all of these bunkers, you know, all of these underground cities, you know, what I mean, under the water, also, you know, in the mountains, wherever them dwell, you know, what I mean, them can't hide from the Lord. How about you, know, Sean? You know, because it's saying that in the book of Psalms, you know, we have to dig them out and slap chains upon them. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Right. Okay. Can I ask you? Can I ask you? Yeah, I mean, though. I want to say, can I ask you, Shapal? Um, 
till the way you have happened when you have a shy return or take place. Some are happy, some are sad, some are bound. Or the 30th chapter. Yeah, yeah. You know, let's bring on this quick one here. It's um, Amos 9, verse 2, it says, So do they dig into hell, then shall my hand take them, and do right. they climb up to heaven, then shall I bring them down, and do they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out thence, and do they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, then shall I command the serpent, and he shall bite them. So la vita. So there's no way they can hide. Right? No way they can go and hide. From the heavenly father, how about you? Shai. Sweep as the Lord is up. 10,000 times brighter than this. Sweep as it is. So no matter where they go, if they come out of the sea, right? Them, them luxurious, you know, um, submarine, hide. They're still not escaping. The how about you? Shai. They're going to pay. There's nothing at all he saw them can do to stop. Um, the, the judgment is basically written for him, right? As, 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 it, as it is written in the scripture, nothing can be put to it, no, nah, nothing can be taken from it. So, nothing at all him can do to stop it. Yeah, it doesn't remind me of a song of Cape Town they have the when say you could have put on the wings of the morning and fly, there is no escape from <laughs> not yeah, that. Outside. Outside. Yeah, 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 it's about the um, second is us 30. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, the, the point, you get to the point, because... Um, yeah, get to the point, let's get to the point, then. All right. It does speak about the, um, the, the ones that were born. Uh-huh. Yeah, let's get to this. You can't start front of us. Start from point up, then. I'm not half yeah. Makes It makes sense. All right, start from 11. Uh, it's... Uh, <laughs> That yeah. was I come in the chariot. Yeah, yeah. All right. So this is second Ezra 30 arms, um, like a 12 and verse 11. It's a, no, I'm sorry, no, 13. Mm. Mm, it's like, yeah, and verse 1. And it said, And it came to pass after seven days, I dreamed a dream by night, and lo, there arose a wind from the from the sea. That's the sea, God. Right, that move all the waves thereof, and I beheld and lo, that man walked strong with the thousands of heaven. Talking about your house, right? right? The man of all people ignorant the call Jesus, right? Walk strong with the thousands of heaven, thousands of angels. Mm -hmm. As Lord Yahushua is coming back with a lot of chariots, you know, he saw them so called white man of it was UFOs, right? Thousands of them, right? And thousands of angels, according to the, in the scripture. So the, char the chariots of the Lord. Are, are thousands, even thousands of angels. Right? The Lord is among them. Right? Now, I'm Psalms, I um, think of Psalms 68 and verse 70. All right. It's uh, for the thousands of heaven, and when they turned his countenance, look, all things tremble that were seen on him. So, if anybody have a fruit, they are fruit in the time to come because they are going to fight. Because the house is coming back in the midst of this third world war destruction. So they're going to see how shy coming in, you know, along with the angels, them, the chariots, them. Are they going to stop fight against each other? Right? Just like, um, you know, that famous speech, you know, live on in the hearts of all these super rich, wealthy farmers of the earth. Ronald Reagan, the president, the you know, former president of America, that if we should have an outside check, Right, we, we should go or fast, we put aside our, our differences to fight against the outside trip. Right, we'll pour in what the president, um, you know, speak about. So they're going to stop fight one against another and team up 
all the harm is them to the four card and hurt going to team up to fight the house and the angels then so they're going to team up together right the military might fight the house and the angels then one right and at the same time the elites them to in them bunker they might go witness that same huge chariot and start piss themselves in them bunker mm -hmm. right right it says um over the voice went out of his mouth all they burnt that heard his voice and the, as they heard feel it when it feel it with fire yeah. so after this i beheld and lo uh they was gathered together a multitude of men out of numbers from the four winds of the earth of the heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea yeah that's peace all right but i beheld and lo he had graven himself a great mountain and flew upon it but i would have seen the region or place where all the ill were graven but i would not Good. after this i, I beheld and... it was a literal hill all right it looked like a hill to it was us but really and truly he was a father ship right in, in, in independence day independence of two you know with uh independence too with, um um will smith you know that big father yeah. they say mothership yeah. it was a father ship right so you're gonna see that big father ship you know come in and they're gonna be afraid right so he's referred to it to how big it is as a mountain so it wasn't a literal mountain it was big right the size of it Right. All right. So it said he um, gave himself a, a great mountain and flew upon it. But I would have seen a region or place where the mountain was graven, and I could not. Yeah, because it was after, the mountain, one. Right. And after this, I beheld, and lo, all they that were gathered together to subdue him were so afraid, and yet there's fight. Yes, still have a fight. Mm -hmm. And lo, as they saw the violence of the multitude that came, neither lift up his hands or held sword or any instrument of war but only that out that he That's sent out of his mouth right what? as it had been a blast of fire and out of his lips a flaming breath and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests and they were all mixed together the blast of fire the flaming breath and the great tempest then fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight and burn them up every one so all them are get this try. All the harm is them. They all get up. They together. Team up. They fight against each other. They all team up to fight the house. And every one of them are get this try. I can't do in the scripture. So these mm -hmm. four kids are being, you know, with these chariots fire, they're going to get, they're going to get the upper supper, the upper supper, right for the college. Right? My brother. We're going to come in. Right. I say, um, everyone, so that upon a sudden, upon the innumerable multitude, uh, nothing was to be perceived but only dust and smell of smoke. Um, so I can read that again over. It says, um, It said, The blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest fell with violence upon a multitude which was prepared to fight and burn them up, everyone. So that upon a sudden, upon a innumerable multitude, nothing was to be perceived but only dust and smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was afraid. Done. All right, and he said afterwards, I saw some men came down from the mountain and called unto him another peaceable multitude, and came, and there came much people unto him. Done. Where some, wherefore some were glad and some were sorrow, um, sorry, and some of them were bound, and some, right, um, some part of them that were offered. Yeah. And was sick to great fear. Then I awoke and said, and you go down and say, um, do I show the servants, you know, basically to interpret the dream and such. But I guess that okay. the, um, the last so the last part of the point of the Yeah? I get verse 13, the last part was the point you wanted. Yeah, yeah some more bone. That's the point you want yeah. to bring up. So certain yeah. you know, men are gonna get you know chewed to slavery because after the after um the elect get delivered you know that is coming destruction because uh, of the prophecy um um that some of deliver the elect for the four wings of the earth so after coming back on the earth all the all the edomites 
uh, and I was at the nation and we left back. You might go join the Esau, you slavery, because at Esau is going to get to the worst, but Esau nation is going to fear slavery too. But mm-hmm. Esau is the worst with all these nations. So come back and sit by the all and the earth. Right, even the scripture I tell you that the, the, um, the elect got to go around the world and get, get a all, the, all the weapons we left back after this coming nuclear destruction. They're going to get destroyed. All they're going to get burned up. Right? So new rulership. Right? A righteous rulership. No follow. Right way. Same thing I saw. Set back. Right? It's going to go as far as you say. Um, in, um, the Aoshai, you know, speak about, say, them one I'm reading over them, bring Hida and slay them before me. So I don't want to follow the other and get destroyed. That's basically what will take place. Right in the near future. Right, go on, brother. Can you, you know, continue? Or... Uh, I'm going to oh, uh, I'm going to Okay. I'm going to one to Isaiah, too. Isaiah um, 2 and 10, I believe. Yeah, one Isaiah 2 and 10. Mm, um, is Isaiah 2 verse says to enter into the rock and hide thee from the dust in the dust for the fear of the Lord and for the glory of his majesty. Mm-hmm. I see him bone kind of my high in there. It's better we just keep trying to reflect on it. Well continue. Oh, this was um so the lofty looks of man shall be humble, the artists of men shall be bowed down, and the Lord alone shall be exalted that day. John, so the Lord alone will be exalted that day because everybody gonna bring a low. Is he he passed our brother Jeremiah? You know, I mentioned they were they gonna you know skewed and then see the level of what take place in them bunkers. Because everybody are brought low, you know, the foolish part of this world. You know, how about she is gonna put a hint to it, you know? right? You know, people lift up with pride. These Edomites, you know, are even uh, the proud ass Edomite. You have um, the um, that um, Edomite, you know, but you um, but you again um, Yuval, yeah, Noah, Noah. Or yeah. Or, uh, yeah. So you not even got above the, above the clouds, or above the sky, but you didn't with Google, you didn't, eh? the technology, yeah, and IBM. Yeah. That's what they basically deal with it. So they look to them, them technology as God. But the scripture tell about take place in the future. So the lofty look of man shall be humble. So everybody got brought you. Yeah, because um, huh? like, uh, just, just to add to your point, remember in Psalms 110, where the Lord said, Sit thou at my right hand until and. I make thy enemies thy nice. footstool. So when you have a shy return, then pretty much I just the Lord footstool. And you know him say my share with Israel joint ears. So them are gonna be our footstool too. Yeah, but fine. start with your how a shy Yeah. Yeah. Continue with that. Oh, yeah. um for the day of the Lord of all shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty. All right. God, hold on, hold on. Give me a scripture. Um Jeremiah, give me a scripture. Come to mind and uh well, I'll bring it out. Um, Isaiah 13 and 11. Come to mind. I got it. All right, so this is the book of Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 11. And I will punish the world for their evil. So who are going to punish the world for their evil? The the father, Yahweh. That's the true name in the Hebrew, Yahweh. Right? Destroyed. Or punish the world for them evil. Let's your society glorify wickedness. Right? Wickedness come like, you know, a good thing now in the society and righteousness come like a bad thing. Right? Oh, people. Yep. Love it. You come a fan. Yeah? You come a training thing now for the wickedness. Right? I speak about wickedness. I have right? songs say me I see. I'm, I don't say them I see now. <laughs> yeah, you have money. You have money in yourself, see now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, that's how you train now, no, brother. A de- devil. <coughs> my devil tattoo on him body say my devil. Jake. Yeah, man. Because yeah, that's basically what the world is pushing towards now, or what the world is, is, is um, moving towards or, or promoting. 
The Vardy is named Roger. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, him, him basically I promote the um the whole Cena thing, you know, and people as a take on it and run with it. But that promote the artist, that Jake the pun, you know. Mm-hmm. Just to show that all right. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> uh, so back in, yeah. back in Isaiah thirteen and verse eleven, it says, "And I will punish the world for their evil, and the wicked for their iniquity." Yes, I punish the wicked for their iniquity. Right, wicked is who's a wicked. Right, Malachi one and four explain who's a wicked. Right, Edom, which is so called white people, they shall call the border of wickedness. Right, and also the wicked amongst all people, and also these Eden nations. So, this is what the scripture said, living the father will do. This is what it gets you ready for the right now, rapidly. Go on, brother. All right, so it says, and the wicked, um, for their iniquity, and mm. I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. Done. Hold on, let me get the definition I word arrogancy for you. Um, <laughs> it says. Exaltation, majesty, pride, <laughs> majesty and pride to speak loftily. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it says to rise up, grow up, be exalted. Mm-hmm. You must say everyone exalt himself. I'm gonna be a beast. That's right. <laughs> In size of his what the beast, right? Mm-hmm. You should see, um, eat um, uh, Daniel. I think Daniel four and seventeen. This matter by decree, the watchers demand by the Holy One that living men know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men and yep. it whosoever he will and set it up over, over it. The basis of men, the lowest of men. So I'm gonna get brought back right back down to this up. Right? Okay. Yeah, right, so it says um pump, pride, proud, willing. All of that go back to arrogancy. So I'm going to read it again. It says, and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease to and will lay low the, the art of the, the terrible. terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Back to the eyes there. Eyes there too again. But it's Isaiah 2 verse 12. It says, for the day of the Lord of all shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty. Okay. And upon everyone that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right, finish? Yeah, man, finish, man. Okay, you want a scripture? Okay, close out, you know the most scripture. Yeah. Yeah. You want to pass it? Psalms 49 and verse 11 okay. reads, So their inward thoughts is that their houses shall continue forever and that they do it in place <clears throat> to our generation. Mm-hmm. And they call the, uh, the land after their, their own name. Right? And just to point out the part that them think them all, them, um, the kingdom will continue forever, man. So, what do your plan is to once this nuclear fallout happens? Them can go under the, the, them bunkers, you know, wait out, you know what I mean, until, you know, the nuclear fallout has passed and then come up and then rebuild. Mm-hmm. You know? yeah. Yeah. Are, you know? yeah. If they move it, they said to them, I believe they expl- uh, they said the thing, they move it. It's, it's yeah. better for, um, um, what's that do I listen on, um, recently? Um, <laughs> move it deep in back. I believe he said they must spend two years. Right, you know, right. Uh, in them bunkers, and after the dust clear, they must come and they rebuild. So that's what they're planning. Mm-hmm. So they're planning to spend two years in the bunkers, and now after they must come and the earth back and build. Come rebuild. Yeah. So that's your plan. Mm-hmm. Yep. Come on and, and, and rebuild, man. Which, which even go back to trying to obtain the blessing, man, as, as we mentioned the other night. Mm-hmm. No? By carnal means. You know, because that's what it's about. You know, he and Jacob. You know, but you know, as the scripture says, the Lord, the Lord have a different plan, basically. You know, just rough for afraid. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Come. Yeah. All right, have one. 
All right, so this is Psalms 149 and verse 4. It says, For the Lord take pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. So the destruction, the ending of Esaidom, simultaneously, salvation will be coming with our, with our Lord. The Lord is coming to put an end to Esau, Edom, reign. He thrown Esau, take him out of these bunkers where they are built for the hide, which is all a part of the Heavenly Father's plan to preserve the wicked, to put them in a slavery. And same time, I come get the four oh. corners of the earth. <laughs> so, verse 5 now says, Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. The bed represent what rest. They get we get a salvation there. New bodies, new covenant, everlasting life, new Jerusalem. We are gonna rest. Yeah. The verse six now says, Let the high praises of Yahweh in the name of our God and our Savior Yahweh shy. You know, be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the Eden and punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written dishonor of all his saints praise ye the Lord Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai gone exactly Yes. Gone, gone. And you know, matter of fact, me have a priest, but I think um, you guys bring it out already you know, because it's coming late. So, yeah. But yeah, beautiful priest. And we can get another one. Um, second is at 7 verse, verse 43. It says, yeah, yeah. That's scripture. That's scripture. Right. So, but the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of immortality for the come. Right? When corruption is passed, and, and in the day of doom, it will talk about what? The coming of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yashim, and which entails what? Third words war, you know, following up to that will be civil unrest, you know what I mean? MO TV, all of that. Okay? But when those bombs drop, man, those ICBM missiles drop, right? That's going to be the end of this society, man, and the beginning of the kingdom to come, which is the kingdom of Israel, which immortality, you know what I mean, is also a promise, you know, the blessing. Where, where, where we have obtained last week, we are part of that number. Right, of the first fruit. Right? Okay. So it's, but the day of doom shall be the end of this time. Right? And the beginning of immortality for to come. Where corruption is passed, intemperance is at an end. Right? Infidelity is good. Is good. Righteousness is good. Right? And truth is sprung up. Right? And they shall no man, then shall no man be able to save him that is destroyed. Can say now, but now we to see this east side and the more. I know in this society, you know, people, you know, or people heavy mm -hmm. on this Stockholm syndrome, right? And heavy enough that right now mm -hmm. you know, because the moment that they speak about that east side, um, which is so called white man, I'm going to save them our people, right? Mm -hmm. start having feelings, right? So nobody will ever see the east side and the more, right? I'm a tough fuck, I can't do it within the scripture. In Isaiah, I think Isaiah 14. Right, people are going to look down for the Isa. Right, they're going to say, Is this the man that caused the world to tremble? That did shake the kingdoms? Right, so they're going to look down for Isa. I remember when Angel, you know, on this side here. Yeah. Right, people are going to see if you who he is. Right, go on, brother. All right, it says, uh, Let me get back to that. Just a minute. Just who was it? All right, so it's uh, verse 45. So then shall no man be able to save him that is destroyed, nor to oppress him that had gotten the victory. Yep. Right. So, you know, we're not going to be oppressed no more, man, because the victory will belong unto Israel. Yeah. You know, through the power and spirit of Lord, you have a bash in our shine. So, what is our question oppression I got done, man? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's that that will be the end of Isa kingdom. In this scripture, say 
he says the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. So there's no more going around for Isa. You know, this is the last, this is this is the fall, right, of the empire that has been run for so long, man. You know, from the Greek to the Roman, to the second leg of the Roman Empire, which we know. You know, and right now we are witness the fall. Right? So there is no going around. So all of these bunkers we have built and all of these plan of, you know, a global reset, mm. you know what I mean, and building the, the, the society in the way, in your image, you know, which you don't have in your image already as on your, um, your, your seed or your, your image you know, of Christ and all of that and, you know, which, you know, you know, but with all of that, man, you know, go ever get another go around like what I'm doing, you know? So call all the how about you try when it wasn't for the Lord, man, you know. Hey, yeah. Israel, Israel is gonna be safe, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. I want scripture, brother. Can close it uh, that's it for me. Okay, all right. So with that, you know, hopefully, you know, this list was edifying to the brothers, you know, as well and um, to a few sisters out there. All right, you know, so that may I say all praises and an anti how while she may shy about Kodash and double and I see a possible sale as agreements too. And shall I want to all the brothers and more there across the world to push it through? All right, shall I want to the few sisters, you know, almost out of this society, see the prophecy system fully, um, fulfilling, right? Is either making it move rather lead to you know, them, them destruction. Yeah, shall I want, shall I want, shall I want.